Hey, our friends, today we're gonna draw a crazy creature. A crawfish. Yeah, a crazy crawfish creature. Yes. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. We need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home, like a pencil. You also need? Some paper and something to color with. All right, let's start. Yes. Let's first draw the body. We're gonna draw an upside down V. We're gonna start here, and we want the upside down V to be in the middle of our paper, but maybe starting just above halfway. So we're gonna come up like this, and then back down. Yeah. Then right here, we're gonna extend each side down a little further and then curve in slightly. Then we're gonna draw a curve that goes up back down and connect to the other side. Then we're gonna draw the tail and it's kind of a U shape. So we're gonna come down further like this, curve at the very bottom, back up and connect to the top. Let's also add more details to the tail. We're gonna draw a curve right here at the top then we're gonna draw another segment just below that. And then this one, let's draw it straight. So we're gonna to try to make these contour lines uh, add three dimension to the tail. So the next line underneath or segment, we're gonna curve the other way. Let's add a couple more. One, two at the very bottom. Now we're gonna add the fins on our tail. We're gonna draw a curve or U shape, it comes out, back in, small sideways U. And we're gonna draw another one that's bigger, comes out further, comes back in, and connects to the smaller one. Let's repeat that same step on the other side and just flip it, go in the other direction. So we draw that smaller one first, then we can draw the bigger one that comes out further, curves around, and then connects back in. Now we can come up here and add the eyes. I'm gonna draw a really small C for the left eye, a backward C for the right eye. Now it's starting to look like a crazy crawfish. Yeah. <laughs> Let's color in those eyes. We could also leave a little highlight to make the eyes look shiny. We'll do the same thing on the right side. I'm gonna make this one a little bigger just to match the other, the right side. Now let's draw the pinchers or the claws. We're gonna start just below the eye and we can draw a line that comes, a diagonal line that comes up. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw, right here we're gonna come down little ways, curve out to the left, and then we're gonna curve around and connect up to the top. Then let's draw another line that comes out from that top. It looks like a backwards P. We're gonna come around like that and then connect back into the body, but look how I get closer towards the end or where the body is, yeah. Now let's repeat that same step on the right side. We're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out and up. Then we'll come back down, draw that little curve or the segment for the, the arms, the pinchers. Then we're gonna curve around to complete the top part then we'll do the same thing over, that we did over here. We'll draw a little line that comes out and connect back into the body and it gets closer, or tapers. That's a word you could use also to describe those two lines, they taper. Now let's draw the pinchers. We're gonna start over here on the right side and we're gonna draw a big curve that comes up high, close to the top of our paper. And then we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna draw another curve that comes down right next to it but gets further away. You could also call this flaring. So as it comes down, it gets further away. Then we'll draw a diagonal line that comes out further. And then we're gonna draw a curve connecting back into the arm. Let's draw the other side of the pincher. We're gonna draw a line coming out of this section then let's draw a smaller line getting closer and we're gonna curve up 
just past the outside of the pincher. Yeah, and then we're gonna curve back in and connect down here. Let's repeat all of those same steps over here. So we're gonna draw the outside curve first, but we're gonna flip it on the other side to make it look symmetrical. So we're gonna curve out and up, and it's okay if it doesn't look exactly the same. Yeah. Then we're gonna draw this next line coming back down and flaring so, or getting further away from the outside. Then we'll draw a diagonal line coming further away. And then a big curve connecting down to the arm. Now let's draw the other pincher, the other side of the pincher. We'll draw that line coming out of here and getting closer to the outside curve. Then we're gonna curve up further, just past the outside point. And then we're gonna draw a line or curve coming down to connect. Now let's draw the legs. We're gonna start down here on the body and we're gonna draw a line that comes out, around, and then come back in. It's almost like an insect. These do look like underwater insects. They do. That's why I don't tend to eat them very often <laughs> <laughs> or ever. <laughs> Some people like them though. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. I'm, I'm still not gonna eat them. <laughs> right. Now we're gonna draw the next segment for the leg. It's smaller. We're gonna draw a lot smaller. And then we're gonna draw a curve that comes out further. And then we'll draw, start at the end and connect back to the leg. All right, let's add another one just below this one. We're gonna curve out and up, around, and then back into the body. And we'll repeat all those same steps. Maybe this, this segment, this next one, we could draw it a little longer. And then I'm gonna draw another one that comes out further and then back in. On this one, let's change it just a little bit. We're gonna draw a short upside down U or sideways U. Then we're gonna come up close to the legs that we've already drawn and then back in. And then this one, we're gonna come out like this, add another segment. And then right at the end, let's add a little claw. Let's add one more leg so that there's a total of four on this side. This one, we're gonna repeat the same step, so I'm gonna go a little further. I'm gonna draw it really close to the last one we drew. We'll do a longer U shape, a shorter one. Oh, I'm gonna add another segment right here. And then we'll draw one more little talon or claw at the very end. Now let's repeat all of those same steps on the other side, since it's the same on both sides. So let's just repeat, we'll go a lot faster, we'll just repeat those same shapes and steps. So we're gonna draw that sideways, long U, smaller segment, and we'll draw a curve that comes out further and then back in. If we go too fast during this part, remember you can always- Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. So we're gonna draw a really long sideways U, a medium segment, and then a really long claw that comes out and back in. Now let's draw the third leg. We're gonna draw a smaller U, medium one, maybe another medium one. I'm just looking at this leg over here, and then a small talon at the end. Got it? Yes. Cool, all right, let's do the last one. Draw a U-shape, a really a lot longer U-shape, a smaller one, and then a longer talon at the end. What should we draw next? The antennas? Maybe, yeah, or whiskers. Whiskers. <laughs> Let's call them antenna. Okay. okay, we're gonna draw a big line that comes out of the top, going to the left, and we could draw another one coming out to the right. Let's make those a little thicker. I'm gonna start at the top and towards the bottom, I'm gonna flare out or get further away and then connect in. And we'll do the same thing on this side. To just make these antenna look a little bigger or thicker. Uh, I kind of colored it in. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. You can do that. And then, do, yeah, do the same thing on the right side. Then they have these little guys on the inside or in between. So I'm gonna draw little spikes 
in between those two antennas. Let's add spikes or texture to the claws, the pinchers. I'm gonna add little zigzags on the outside and some of them we can make even bigger. I'm gonna add some bigger ones right here and maybe even two big ones on this section. And you don't have to make these look exactly like mine. You can change these, make them look a little different. I'm gonna add more spikes up here on the right side and even coming down the bigger part of the pincher. And then two spikes on this segment. Let's add a few more coming down the arm. Let's also add little ridges on the side of these segments. So I'm gonna add a little curve that connects in between each of these segments. So we'll do the same thing on the right side too. We finished drawing our crawfish. It looks really gross, but super cool. <laughs> what else do we need to do to our drawing? Color them. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our crawfish. It turned out super 3D. Did you have fun? Yes. What do we use to color our drawings? Markers. Yeah, our biannual markers. Now, parents and teachers, you can check out our website for more information on where to purchase these, but you could use whatever you have at home to color with. You could also just color your drawing solid red. We also added shading and highlights to make it look more 3D. We also used our light gray to add a cast shadow underneath our crawfish. Kind of looks like it's going to crawl off our paper. It does. We used our white Prisma color colored pencil to add the highlights on top of the marker. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing crawfish. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.